I was pretty excited when I got this X2LF1 laser. Um, I saw it used by Peter Brown, and I was like, that's really cool, I want it. So I bought one. You know that, because I've shown you the video before. And if you're new to the channel, you can go back and see my review, which I may take down. On day 21, I went to make this. Just a, you know, a coaster of my third channel's logo. Pretty cool. But here was the problem. I put it in. I did the file. I tried to send the file to the machine. It would send incredibly slow. It would get to maybe 2%. Machine would disconnect. So turn it off, turn it back on, because the Wi-Fi has been horribly unreliable on it. And it won't connect to my MacBook Pro. It'll connect to my MacBook Air and my PC. But that's not practical because I'm not going to drag my PC to a place that's safe to run the laser. So I do it on the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi works fine for everything else, not with the machine. So I try to send it to it again. Takes forever, fails. Power cycle, takes forever, fails. Power cycle, takes forever, fails. Change the channel on the Wi-Fi. Reconnect everything to the Wi-Fi. Try it again, fails. Try it with the MacBook Air, fails. So, great. So I just wanted to make this. After about 20 cycles of doing that, I was able to make that, and then it quit working again. So I reach out to support. I email support, they instantly reply, and they tell me, um, it, it was an AI reply, and it's like, oh, here, try lubricating the rails. Here's the Xtool F1 guide, and you open it, and this doesn't have rails. I mean, it has the rails this slide on, but the lasers are all mirrors, right? So I'm like, okay, that this is great. So I open the document, and it's not for the Xtool F1, it's for the uh, Xtool M1, and it's telling me to, you know, lubricate the XY rails and I'm like, what? So I email back, no, I need to speak to a human. 30 something hours later, a human replies, oh, we'll try focusing the laser. And I'm like, yes, I'm not an idiot. I've used this laser to do things. I know to focus it. You know, it's not even my first coaster. I've, I've been doing all kinds of different images on coasters just to mess around. This one I should have inverted. You know, there's my Star Wars test pattern that I've been using for everything. So they're like, blah, blah, blah. Please take video. Please send it to us. Our engineers will do it. Uh, here's how to manually focus your laser. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I'm not an idiot. What happens is the IR laser just does not work. And I was going to film a bunch of stuff today, like I made these dog tags. I figured this out and it's really cool. I don't know if I could focus. Oh, that doesn't really want to focus. There we go. You can see the cool little dog tag there. I was going to film that today and show people how to do that. And I had a couple other things I was going to do. I was going to engrave some Game Boy cartridges, I mean cases to like aftermarket shells. Nope, can't do that. We're now on day four and customer service is taking 30, 36 hours between replies. I even reached out to my affiliate rep and was like, hey, can you get me in touch with someone? That was 15 hours ago. And they replied, yeah, yeah, sure. And nothing um, this morning. The, the problem is, as I was under the impression Xtool was an American company. Xtool is 100% a Chinese company. Uh, everyone has Chinese names. Some of them even have Chinese characters in their email. So you're dealing with the time zones, you're dealing with the language barrier, and customer support should not be taking, you know, three days and all they've told me to do is take a video and send it to their engineers. So this is the video. Um, let me send a file to this and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so I was trying to do this doorknob, right? Let me show you the settings real quick. So I've got everything set up. It is selected for output. I've got it on the infrared. You know, I've got everything set up. This is exactly how I did that uh, third channel coaster, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go to process. It's gonna generate its preview. Sorry if the uh, video's looking really weird there. 
So we've got it. We're going to come up here to start. Okay, so this is actually good. This is the first time it's actually tried to send it in a while. So now we're gonna to go to the unit and press the button. All right, so we've sent it to the unit. Let me get some safety glasses on real fast. These are their safety glasses that I had to pay extra for because they don't come with the thing, which I guess is something. So yeah, I normally don't do this, but I have the safety glasses on. So we're gonna press the thing to start. And it's doing nothing. Yes, it's infrared. Let me turn these lights off. But I should see it doing something when it actually interacts with the material. Every single thing I've done in infrared, when the laser actually starts hitting, it starts um, doing something. So yeah, it does not do anything. And it is focused. I focused it. Uh, just to show you it's not doing anything, let me get like a piece of paper or something. So here's just a piece of nothing is happening. So it's like, okay, cool. Like, literally nothing. That's, that's a painting on the thing. Oh look, it's not doing anything. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and stop it. But I'm like, cool, thanks a lot. Um, I'm not happy with the level of customer service so far. I'm not happy that my laser broke on day 21. You know, I, I, I had stuff to do. If, if I had bought this for a business where I'm actually taking this to a fair or something, and this happened to me, you know, on a Friday, and I was going to a fair on a Saturday, like, there goes my business for the weekend. And what if I paid booth fees and et cetera? And this thing's 21 days old. I've not used it a ton. I've done less than a hundred, um, you know, lasings. I don't know what to call it, engravings. So yeah, I am <laughs> a little upset, but I guess I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I just, I just want a refund or for them to send me a new unit and they don't seem to want to do that. They're completely ignoring that request. And oh, oh, here's the, here's the important thing too. I'm, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm a Karen, blah, 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 blah. I, I found two other people the same week on their private Facebook group that they run that are having the exact same issue. So if, you know, three of us are, how many others are? Because how many aren't joining the Facebook group and how many have posted that in the Facebook group and I haven't seen it because it gets dozens of posts a day. And I have things to do other than, you know, just browse their Facebook. So there's at least three of us with this problem. You know, <laughs> I don't know. At least it sent the file this time. That's, well, on the first try. It didn't take me 15, 20 tries. But uh, yeah, the infrared laser does not work. X-Tool, help me out, guys.